when you're thinking about selling your home, one thing you want to be careful about is the pricing. It's very important to make sure that you're pricing your home correctly. And there are a few ways that sellers typically go about pricing their home the wrong way. And we're going to talk about that today. Hi, my name is Deanna Bradford. I'm a realtor with Reese Nichols Realtors, Excelsior Springs, part of the Bill Hightower team. So the first way that sellers go about the wrong way of figuring out how to price their home is by doing their own research. And by that, I just simply mean going to places like Zillow or Realtor.com and using that as your only data point for basing what your price of your home should be. Now, there can be some value in those websites and what they put out there, but there's a lot wrong with it too. So to really get accurate information, you really want to get accurate data, which could require being able to access things like the multiple listing service, MLS, as we call it, which is what us realtors use to list homes. And then when they close, we have access to that information as to what a home sold for along with information about that home. So if there were some concessions when somebody bought that home, meaning that the seller had to make some repairs or paid for something towards the buyer, either in closing costs or in repairs, um, we can take that into account when trying to determine appropriate value for a home. Zillow, realtor.com doesn't take that kind of stuff into consideration. Also, those websites can't take a look at the inside of your home. So they don't know the difference between something that has had a lot of renovations done and a lot of updates, something that might be more custom built and have more custom things done to it that might be worth more. But they also can't see things that maybe um, would, would bring value down on a property. So deferred maintenance. There are just some situations where a seller can't afford to make repairs that need to be done and it affects the value of the home and where a realtor or somebody like an appraiser can come in and visually see those things and take that into consideration. These websites that are often used can't do that. And so it's a very baseline estimate of a home valuation. In fact, if you've ever compared all the different websites to each other, you will see quite a range of estimated value on homes. You could look at the same address on all the different websites and have quite different estimate values that they all suggest. So I think that kind of goes to show why they come up with such a range of values because they can't see those details. They can't do that closer in-depth research on a home where a trusted realtor and especially a local realtor can do. Another way that sellers will go about pricing their home in the wrong way is thinking that they should price it higher. There's a mentality out there that when somebody thinks, oh, I want to get this much for my home, so I'm going to list it up here and wait for a buyer to offer less, figuring that somebody's going to come in and, well, they're going to make an offer and then we'll negotiate anyway. So that gives them room to come down. And while that might work sometimes, depending on the market and depending on the situation, most of the time, that's not a good idea. I recommend listing at or right below whatever market value is. So when we run those comps, we get the data and we really zero in on what a fair market value is for your property. My recommendation is to stay as close to that as you can when listing. You are competing against other properties. And right now we are in a market where there's not very much inventory. And so you don't have a lot of competition. So when things pop up, you want to be the one that stands out, right? You want to not be the highest priced home in the neighborhood. You want to be at a competitive price where people will come in and see value in your home and want to write an offer. In the seller's market that we've been in these last few years, we the reason we have seen multiple offers on homes is because of pricing. If you price a home right, people will see the value in it and they will not only give you a full offer price, but then when there's multiple buyers interested in the same home and they see value in it at the price it's listed at, that's when you get that bidding war. That's when you get those multiple offers and drive that price up. So pricing a home at or just slightly below that fair market value is really recommended 
when trying to determine a value for your property. And the third way that sellers go about pricing their home incorrectly is by letting their emotions get involved. Don't price your home based on emotions. You have to remember that your home is only worth what somebody is willing to pay. That's how we determine a value on a property. We take a look at what people have paid for comparable homes. And based on that information, that's how we can predict what somebody will pay for yours. So remembering that your home is only worth what a buyer is willing to pay for it is super important when trying to come up with value. A lot of times we find sellers are very emotional because either they've been in the home a long time, it means a lot to them. They've put a lot of hard work into it, spent a lot of money making updates and upgrades, or maybe done the work themselves and have a lot of pride and ownership. So of course, your home means a lot to you. Another scenario I see is when people have equity in their home and they have plans of what they're going to do with that equity, things that they need money for after the sale of their home and have an idea in mind of how much money they'd like to get out of their home. And that sometimes is possible, but you can't decide to sell your home for a certain price point based on future needs. You have to price your home based on what somebody is willing to pay for it. And we find that information like we've already talked about based on those comparable solds. Those are homes that somebody already bought. They were willing to pay that amount for that home. So we find homes that are comparable to yours in your neighborhood. And that's how we determine what a fair market value is. That's how we come up with an idea for a list price. And then from there, um, get it on the market and hopefully are able to market that to buyers who are also going to see that value in your home and then in turn place an offer and buy your home at that price. What are your thoughts about this topic of pricing a home and how to price it right? Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on anything that I've said today, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to see those. I mean, if you found this information helpful, please like this video. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be reminded and when we put new videos out each week. Thanks again for watching and have a blessed day.